Hello everyone, today we're playing some Yakmas. Um, we're playing, trying to play two Calmy Gardens, I think that would be kind of cool. I think I like the main deck as it is, and I was thinking of making a change in the sideboard, which is I want to play a Thoughtseize. Rather than... And I saw some decks playing like a Re Leyland of hmm, the Void. Oh yeah, I wanted to play a Collector Roof. It just feels like Collector Roof is really, really good right now. I don't think Scanning is that good, but it's probably necessary. Maybe instead of the of the Cavalier of the Night, we play a Collector Roof. Ah, I guess I can just... Seems that it's going to be good versus Tron. Let's play the Roof. I'm going to try the Roof. The card has wrecked me many times in, in uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a matter of trying different cards, see how they feel, you know. Like, maybe you put the Oof in the deck and you never... Um, hmm, this hand has no acceleration. <laughs> so, this hand has no acceleration, but the other hand has Young Wolf. So, this could be like a turn 4 Yakmoth, but maybe it's just good enough. It's actually a turn 4 kill because we can help the evolution for the Alpha Messenger. Okay. I'll keep this. I don't love drawing the Dry Arbor, but that's what it is. That's a Grazer. Okay, it's probably it's a good old Titan. Second to Alamire, not impressive. Uh, I don't think I need to fetch for... Oh, we're on Tom, so I'm just going to put Young Wolf here. Um, this dry hour is mostly safe unless the opponent has dryad here. Wow, turn to dryad is uh close to is it like they have two more lands? Like, oh, this is escape shield, right? They have two more lands, we cannot get owned here. So, maybe I don't want to play the dry arbor because of dried arbor because of that. Yeah. I mean, if they have a Titan, we are actually extra screwed. Holy shit, man. Um, they just target us. Um, we're there anyway to escape shift, so I would rather not block here. Okay. Opponent has probably nothing else. Um, I mean, there's no point in attacking the wood block. Opponent then drank it in Titan Shift. Probably not an easy matchup. Um, We get a Hapatra, but then any line kills a Hapatra. We also have a second Eldritch Evolution, for what it's worth. We could play Spell Sky. Actually, Spell Sky sounds kind of good. The fact that you can redirect Balaku triggers. It's pretty spicy, honestly. But then we cannot kill this guy next turn. Hmm. Yeah, so what can happen next turn is that if they had Scape Shift, we're dead. If they have Titan, we would be dead. So they probably just have a land in hand. So then they can kill this. And they could kill a Hapakra. Zero Titans and zero escape ships. Okay. We also just gotta get off messenger, right? Hmm. I don't know. This heart uh, should make make a decision. I'm just gonna go for the like, off messenger and just give him the poison. No Titans and no escape ships in my opponent's deck. Okay.
we can actually um sack this get a yak clear the air arbor so another forest giving a young wolf he was too young but it happened jesus more figures is that lethal probably not right Okay, we're at eight, so that means, uh, sorry, nine. So it means we're active virtually at six. It's not all life. <sighs> we can Eldritch Evolution with Riot, Counter. We should look for spell this guy, actually. Okay, let me attack first. They block. Okay. You know the evolution and play Dryad Arbor, maybe that's the best play. I can't really kill this anyway. I could I could kill it if I had like Cavalier of the Night in my deck. <laughs> um yeah. Could get the spell sky down now. I actually just could just get the spell sky, right? Mm -hmm. Man, I think this spell sky is a trap. So we're gonna if they fetch one, two, three. Still they draw. Maybe like hopefully not giant or something like this. Or like a another grazer, some of these great top decks. Okay. They make a they have three life now. So I'll wait for them to trigger the next while I could. They can get another gingerbread coming, I guess. Um because I wanted to have the possibility to sack this. But maybe I'm just bad. So we don't do any fetch land next turn. Maybe I should play the act from hand, you're right, and, and just keep on next turn. Because now I could have maybe won. Oh, we didn't attack. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Can play Young Woman Blood at this, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five. No. 
young wolf. Okay, we'll have four, so we can tutor another young uh, blood artist. He's not playing Yak doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah, I don't know, maybe it's just that play. I'm, I'm, I'm a bit rusty, maybe, with the deck. <sighs> So yeah, next turn, I could have played Yak from hand, but they would have killed a Yak. So, oh, no, no, no. Oh, I, I don't even have short. I'm playing so bad. Ah, all right, whatever. This keeps me alive. Okay, I'm playing pretty bad. I like how you highlighted your, your message in red. Okay, final land. We kill the blood artist. Hmm. Yeah, I shouldn't have exposed the blood artist. Could tell bridge for three to four. I think both of these connect and so they can gain three life. So I think this should be lethal. Now they need to eat the food. Mm. Alright, we won. Wow, that was that was not the easiest. That was not the easiest. Oh, that was tough. So we want Ashok. We want Thoughtseize, we want maybe even Phyrexian Revoker to name a land. Probably Force of Bigger is good to kill the Dry. Yeah, it's just Dry is so good, right? And that's it, I think. Maybe Rob Decay also kills the Dry, so. Yeah. Then cards that we don't necessarily want. Let me, let me just. Um. Hapata could be good if they actually playing. I think I can kill, kill I kill, well, got a couple of those. Maybe Essence Warden is not needed. And maybe play Cage so I can cut like I can cut one short maybe. And one get off messenger, for example. I think to evolve. I like to like to keep most of my. So I don't want to cut evolutions when they are like my best. Uh, my like my best turn three play. 
like right now, for example. I find cutting evolution is a trap. Like it's it's of course bad, but um, so if you cut too many, I probably could have a got the escape here, but I have four of eagle, right? So okay, this doesn't really do much for me. I mean, for them. Mm, can always uh, force a vigor. I would love to force a vigor this and a dryad. The most valuable you want to play instant speed creatures. You do you? I don't know. I could play the dryad, but that may just I still bolt. Um This can be pitched to this. Yeah, 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 I know, but um, I also feel that short is slower, so so I wish I could like fetch my right over here, but I clearly can't. So I'm just gonna fetch for an overgrown tom, most likely. Just definitely don't want to play my. You also can just play a fetch line, right, and keep it. So they're drawing a gingerbread crab in. They have a blood stain my no, but no, they have a blood stain my on top of the deck. No, uh, with the foot heals. Four cards left, so they they draw like they gain alive. I don't really care about them gaining alive, honestly. They do plenty of damage. Okay, if that's the only play, they're not even attacking. I'm fine. The, the thing is, they could have played this ginger uh, cabin and instead they decided to play with the food heroes. Interesting. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, five actually. So we're gonna chore for, for x equals two. And um, so we can chore for x equals two, find a blood artist, and then the Eldritch Evolution for a. Uh, Eldritch Evolution for uh, Yagmas and win. So um, I don't really need to play this, right? Um, just don't want to expose this. I could, of course, uh, Eldritch Evolution right now. And that means I can draw infinite cards. But then drawing a Gingerbread Kali and they've not done anything. Yeah. I can also force a vigor by exiling the dry arbor. So they, they are fetching us, so they're not drawing this in the end. Let's see. That's not only one line. Okay. And then with the blood artist and short, you can just win. So maybe there's a reason not to short on my opponent's end step. They're doing light from the loam. So to play around Bolt, so to play around Bolt, we could short on my opponent's end step. So I could next turn Eldritch, get the uh, Stumbler guys, and then I have basically assembled the combo. So I don't even need to short right now. Huh. I actually don't need to short right now. Let's go to the end phase anyway. If I chore right now, I open it to Bolt. Whereas afterwards, I just have Yakmas, right? And I will have five, yeah. Also, drawing the Yakmas is fine. Yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. So I can play the Yakma. And then I have one, two, three, four. So I'm missing one. So I need to just Eldritch Evolution here. Okay.
So now I'm like wondering, should I just wait for my opponent to do something? I should just kill them. Yeah, right. Because if my opponent plays, like, what can they play, right? So I can play, like, if they play, like, Escape Shield or something. So they're drawing life from the loan. That does nothing. So they, whatever interaction they had, so they, they now have a ginger. I want to know what my opponent is playing now. So complicated to play around the deck, did you like? Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So they get a life back, sure. Three cards left in their hands. I mean, I can maybe short and not do anything else. Like, not go for it. Yeah, I think I will short and just not do anything, just pass. So now, I mean, honestly, I think this is, It's better to do this on my turn. I have more mana. I can even like get the uh, get off messenger out. That, that game honestly so there might be oh another stomping ground on one oh it is another okay it's happening these days guys um so two things we can either go don't want young wolf or play county garden play wallow roots just and then get the young. I think I like that a lot. Yeah, garden is better. So we play the garden. Next time we play the wall roots, put the young wolf into play. And the turn after, we play young moss and, you know, we can kill the dryad or whatever. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Calni garden, man. So opponent is a titan shield gamer again. I'm, I'm glad I have my ash in my deck. <sighs> I think I think it looks great, the evil artist though. And you're not gonna convince me otherwise. Barcode. I know you're a lobbyist for what are you for a Zalapor quad throw lobbyist? So what's up? Do you even play bold I main these days? Explore. I think the fastest is that kills you stone four, and it's exactly with this sequence. Because uh, they will have like maybe Oh boy, my what's happening in my game? Should I play the wall roots and the birds? I'm just gonna play the wall roots and the young wolf so we can set up like a. We need to remember to play these and fetch like a swamp or something. This like sets us up nicely for next turn.
Then we'll have a uh, four, maybe five mana. Mm -mm. If I play the birds, maybe I could should play the birds here. Actually, I probably should play the birds. Yeah, if I play the birds, I have one more mana, and that means I, I can play the young wolf. Yeah, so it means I have one more sack trigger. Yeah. Now I have one, two. Now, now I need to sack all my board, whereas before I didn't have to. Shock again. Hopefully, I don't have a dry, uh, a lava good here. Opponent can one, two, three, four, five. Maybe skip shift me next turn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we well, they're not sure we could have been in good shape, but we are not right now. I'm not sure if I want to kill this riot. That's a bit unfortunate. I think I should play the birds. That would give me a bit more. So I can ping it, play a counter, ping it, put a counter, ping it, and ping it again, and this dies. But at this point, this only does something if they're playing Balakut, right? I mean, they are playing Balakut. Yeah, we could suck the wolf at least. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Thanks for the coaching, man. Appreciate it. Honestly. Oh, woman, I don't know where you are. Ooh, Elder's Evolution. Close. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I guess we can Elder's Evolution next on the Wall of Roots to win. And this way I'm still 19. Of course, if my opponent escape shifts me, I'm pretty dead. Mm, sadly. Yeah, I should play the birds. The birds would have been much better. I, I don't think it would have made a difference necessarily, but... The problem is, if my opponent has a Balakut in hand, they can double trigger me, but... If they're sucking this now, that means they don't have a... They don't have a... As a name of that, a Balakut in hand. It's so weird how these mountains look. Okay, it's probably not a Titan either. Or maybe that's just a Scape Shift. Scape Shift, we're dead because we go down. It's just a Titan. So one, two, three, four, five. They have five mountains. Hmm. Should I kill this beforehand before this reaches the table. So what they will look is for a Balakut plus a land. And the Balakut will be a mountain when it enters. I need to kill it right now. Too bad. Maybe I have even a oh. Well, I don't know why my game is so slow. Damn it. Probably Agmoth will also die, so... Damn it, though, we're not finding anything. Should have restarted Molo before I started this league. I guess we can... Oh, that's Hapatra. Maybe the opponent makes a mistake and somehow they let us... 
So I need to kill this. Oh, I, I really realize I have priority. Okay. You open them. So you can look for Balakut Mountain, and that's one trigger. And then another trigger from the stretch line. God damn it, man. Double Balakut? I guess it's better because they just found a mountain, yeah. Yeah, if we had been on the play, this game would be over, but we're on the draw, so. So great today. Maybe opponent decides not to do anything, just save this. That'd be nice. Okay. Fuck, really? It's me and that. I mean, if they attack. I'll do it now. We can find two more mountains, it's gonna be 12 damage next turn, so probably we're just dead, right? Uh, yeah. Damn it, man, we had it for sure. Yeah, we were just gonna die because they're gonna die, look for two more mountains, and I'll see a way to kill it. Yep. Damn it. You know, we, we, we just had the perfect hand, so nothing we could do there. I like this for killing dryads. I'm not even sure if, uh, Port of Vigor is required, actually. Probably not. But maybe they play. Ch they probably play a, a biggest cage on the sideboard, or something like that. Um, I think this matter is quite a lot about the combos. I didn't cut the stronger guys. I think Spells is kind kind of nice against Valakut decks, actually. Uh, I think I cut a chore before. I don't know about that. I think Essence Warden, this matchup is not about Essence Warden. And, um, I guess we can cut one because it's a kind of awkward and it's not a green card. Let's go! Man, we had a good hand, but my one had the perfect actuation. Turn 2 Dryad, turn 3, no, they actually they had turn 3 Dryad, turn 4 Titan. Hard to beat, hard to beat. Um, Okay, it's pretty nice. It's okay. It's not the best hand, but we can get behind this. We also have, did, did I bring the Ashok? Oh god, tell me I bring the Ashok. No! <laughs> I'm a fucking reader. Okay, let's go to game three, boys. <laughs> let's get the game three. Yeah, Ashok is very good. Turn to Ashok just turns off the drag, basically. One is uh, thinking about their hand. I, I think I'm gonna look for a forest just because I really don't want to take damage from my. Uh, even though you know going to 18 probably already puts you to death, but we have the the one of foot here from the throne it's of the of the rain itself. It was Easter not so long ago, and people eat eggs. That's right. One is thinking. Well, yeah, I have a sketchy hand. When somebody thinks about their like their hand for like a minute, you know, either they're like in the bathroom. I don't. Know. Who's this? I kind of like this this art. It looks like it is a land that is also a creature. Some some other ones they look like it's not a creature. Speak only the questions you wish answered. What does the Bird of Paradise say? Nothing. Sadly. What about this? Guys, is the... Of the Hank 
often harm the tree on which they were died. Okay. Oh, it has like a thing around. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna go to the restroom when my opponent is like in the tank. Put him down deep there. Oh man. If it had been on the play, we could have won there. Mm. Actually, we have played the birds. We could have baited them into Balakuring the us. Yeah, it just doesn't matter. It didn't matter. Like, they played it well. It will add that uh, thing resolve, which is dead. Opponent, where are you? Four minutes already. Oh, opponent has connected. I'm gonna. I did. I've been very good at drawing this right arrow. I must say. I'm gonna play its guys and the goose most likely next turn, or the die either. Hopefully, I don't have anger of the gods. It's always the worst, right? After this game, I'll restart Molo because it's like really light right now. Just, you know, it's not smooth, it's not snappy. It's not snappy Molo, it's kind of slow in Molo. One is like five minutes behind us, Jesus Christ. I mean, I know that this, this deck is so slow what they're playing that it will most likely not be important. Hello, be Monkey. How are you? I'm uh, playing some Yak versus uh, Titan Chiefs. I only played against Titan Chief this league. Played twice against it. Um, my opponent killed me turn four, basically. Or like they had a Titan with a Valakut, with double Valakut on turn four into play with a Tet land. So that was kind of rough. I wonder if my opponent uh, top decked it because they, they sag as a crit at Elder. But maybe, yeah, I guess they, they were planning ahead. Or oh, maybe they just have the Bolt. Yeah, the Bolt, bro? No, Relic. Nice. Oh, I oh for the viewers, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and give my opponent the good old spank. So my opponent plays maybe maybe my opponent doesn't have green mana. Dude, what's happening, bro? I mean, I need to restart my model. It's, it's also very laggy. Um, I think I prefer to have like the food and the dry arrow, right? This allows me to also use my mana later. So, even though it hurts me, I mean, yeah, I don't know what the elementals are doing nowadays, but I, I just don't think it's that good. Like any tribe, like they're good. I think what I what I heard, what I felt when I played against elementals, it was always like 
Yeah, we got hard cuts for the vigor to get rid of this relic. But I'm also thinking, should I just wait and see if I can snag a... If I can snag a... Um, other area with it too, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I can do it on their turn, right? You're right. I hope my one doesn't have... Yeah, so I'm actually not know. No, I can't really play this. Hmm. They should be playing this Dry Arbor. So Dry Arbor means one, two, three, four, five, six. So next time we have six. So we draw a land, we can short for Yak. Hmm. Dry doesn't make mana when you play it. That has some many sickness. So you don't really you I don't really have a, a land drop this turn. So I only have a, a four mana. I could play Dryad and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Hope they play a dry uh Dryad of the Legion Glow. I could just pass. No, well, that's fine, it's fine. I feel if I pass. I can re I can rebuild, but as if I play this um and then they they crash me, I'm just wow. I'm so wrecked, right? Um But I think playing that I ever has made because then we can play the get yak now next turn, right? So and then if I play that I ever I can actually short for get off messenger, but I'm not gonna do that. No, so no worries, no worries, it's fine. I also so I will attack with the with the guys here. Maybe bolted also. I don't know. Yeah, if I play bird, then I can't. I guess actually playing bird has a nice thing. Yeah. Playing the bird has the nice thing that I can pitch the dry arbor to force the vigor, right? And short. So I can short for one, two. I can't really short for what I want, though. Um. Okay, I'm just, I think I'm just going to play the dry and pass here. If my opponent has anger of the gods, it really sucks, but. Yeah. So it is. But didn't fetch. That makes me think they have the eye, actually. So I could uh I could short for one. Pretty sure they will play a dry right here. Or maybe an angle of the gods who knows. No, no anger, bro. Oh, so brutal. I should not play anything, I guess. Okay, that's a four for one, guys. I don't know how we come back from this, honestly. Okay, well, that's a way to come back from this, honestly. We have a short for two. I should have not. Did you imagine I had a dry over here? I could I could short for Yak next turn. You had roll hand. Oof! I'm gonna look at the such a beating for our deck. And this is probably the last, the only deck that plays it. I should play around it. Yeah, we, you were talking about the yeah, Lamentos having a weird curve. Yeah, I guess I guess it's one of those decks like uh, Heliot that the three drops are like the best for the card, right? Uh, what is that? Twelve. Okay, one. We have a uh, five mana next turn. We can short for either Rexage. 
I don't have plague engineer in my deck. If not, I could just short for it. <laughs> Name um. And then we still line it up though. Probably the S is like uh, another wall of roots. So this is six mana now. Could my opponent could look for a Titan and get a, a trigger? Then I can uh, short for get out messenger. We can even short for Hapatra and hope to draw Yakmas or a way to get Yakmas into play, and that can kill the. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We also force if my opponent plays a Dryad instead. Man, but that anger. If I had the Dryad right now, I could just short for Yak, which would be wow. So much better. But well. We can also eat a foot end of turn. Yeah, we can chop for get off messenger. Yeah, I need to just draw Yak. Uh we can chop for get off messenger. We can also chop for a like a reclamation sage, but that's probably not good. Let's see. My opponent didn't crack those Sakura Dry Builders, so that tells me that they must have a Okay, let's track it now. Oh, maybe they, they just have the... Will they just escape she feels like this? No, they can escape shift now, but... We can just gain four life. Like six life and then don't die. I guess they can do it and then kill us next turn. Let me see what I have in my deck. Is this something I could short for? I would stop this. All right, welcome to round two. We just, I uh, sorry, round three. We just lost to Titan Shift. Probably not the greatest matchup in the universe. This is slightly faster, right? Maybe. I mean, opponent had like search for tomorrow, explore, Dryad, Titan, game one, and game two. They had the Relic going one, turn one, which is not the most impactful. We also had a four to be which is not very impactful. But then eventually they just got to some mana and escape shifted me. And even though I gained life through the... I don't know if they top deck the Titan or they had the Titan already, but it doesn't make sense, right? Like, if you have six mana, like they did, you just jam the Titan, get two Balakuts, and then you have an, a Sakura Trap Elder, and then you have Scape Shift next turn. So it's much, much better. Like, then I need to deal with this Titan, the US that will attack me. And I need to deal with the scape shift that's coming. And it's com like it's 100% lethal, the second scape shift. So, overall, team opponent probably got lucky there because they did draw. They probably did draw the. Oh, I'm back. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Like, I ended up losing the game. Just my Steam Dracker just. just Crash. It said there was an error, and it just stopped. So I was like, "Okay, bro. All right, this is a very good hand, I believe. We're playing against Moni, so we're playing against Titan. Start with the Radiant Fountain Amulet, like any good Titan player does against us. All right, nothing. Cool. Um, I think they have Tarn under the deck. We can go Wall of Roots, Birds next turn, short for a... Okay, no. I guess they have a Dryad coming up. We can short for a Young Wolf actually here. And then stack these wall roots to get a. I may just do nothing. Short for Yakmas next turn. And then. Yeah, and then go from there. The blood of this guy is bad. 
They play, they may play E. They can actually E yes here, but they only play one. If they do it, I think if they play in time, they're not playing E main deck. Uh, there's a dryad. Should we should we short enough turn? One two. So I can shuffle one and just basically get a young wolf. It just sounds kind of bad. I think Eldritch Evolutioning and then shorting for get off messenger for example is probably like the best choice how about this also good that means we win right a one two three again so let's count here so we can play uh burden captains so we can eldritch evolution take green sack this play get yakmas into play then we still have one, two, three, four mana. Then we play Hapatra. Uh, like, I don't know, find Dry Arbor, suck Dry Arbor, get this. Then we have. Mm, then we problem is opponents. I, I think it's just a good play anyway to do that. So I think I'm gonna go for Yagmat first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I should maybe sack, make a green, maybe. I can actually short for a young wolf. Yeah. If we get an essence warden, it means that we can just draw all the cards we want, right? I just got a young wolf. So if I find a not short again. Eventually, we will find a short and just win the game. Cool. Turn 3 kill. Easy. What a hand, though. <laughs> what a hand. Uh, I guess it's good. This is good. This is good. And this is good. And I even think Force of Vigor is pretty decent. And Rex is pretty decent. Cast Cut Cut. One of those. Cut Cut. Essence Warren. Spell Sky. Ah, Spaskate is probably bad in this situation. Um, two cards. Um, why am I running Kozulek? -like? It's for two reasons. One is for obviously for meal. And you can, with Yagmas, you can discard Kozulek -like from your hand to shuffle your deck. So you, if you draw it, it's not as bad as drawing a Grace Blessing. The other thing that you can use is, I mean, this mostly works in paper, but it also can work in Empty Heal. You can play the Kozulek -like versus uh, Green White. Uh, Heliot, and is a way to read infinite life. So what you do is you cast your Kozilek, and uh, Kozilek has Annihilate 4. So what you do is you kill all your opponent's permanents, and then you kill all your opponent's permanents until they have no more permanents, and then you sacrifice Kozilek. And then you shuffle your graveyard back into your library. So opponent will back eventually. I know it's a bit convoluted, and maybe it's like a bit... Yeah, not the most uh, impactful thing. I'm thinking of cutting the Gilded Goose. 
but it is actually it is it is working and it's quite nice when it works yeah it's basically for me also for the helio deck and also it's pretty good against control because this deck can get to 10 mana and then if you get 10 mana you just get a card that just draws you four cards right so it can be good i guess i can also cut a grab messenger both these and these i want all of them i think I may not want the Gilded Goose, actually. I should put... I... Yeah, so there are, like, a few uses. I prefer to get Blessing, especially because you can discard it. I think this is, like, the main... The main reason I like it. Yeah, there's, like... You know, I I go a bit down the deep end sometimes with the choices. Now the choices. Do I want to... I think I'm going to shock the Overgrown Tom and play Nullhark. This is a bit awkward, but... It's, you know, what it is. We can also play Kami Garden, but we can also play Kami Garden next turn. Yeah, so I think she's gonna do this. Gives me more mana next turn. Next turn we can play Kami Garden. Well, am I would probably be our best draw. That's an amulet. Do you think they play Sekura instead? Yeah, I guess Blessing is more common, but also feel is uh Dude, this can be a turn 3 Titan. Oh. That's a Rex Sage. Ooh, I, I like that. I think I'm gonna Rex Sage this now. I think I'm gonna fetch for a Swamp actually and Rex Sage this. I just find this is just, you know, how we die, especially with double secure type builder. And then I, with any Black Sours, then I can play this. And I still have these, so let's come So let's play Rex Sage and heal that. That's a good top deck. Yeah, I also feel that it's. I mean, I guess they could maybe. They... Yeah, I mean, if they had the uh, amulet, they would for sure be able to tighten us here. Them not having amulet means that they don't necessarily have to. Um, as Twilight Mire, it's also very good. So I can play Yagmas and kill both of these, which I probably will. That means that they are not tightening next turn. And I think I'm just attacked first with the Rex Sage with the Exalted Trigger. Now they can actually tighten us next turn because they can just activate it now, right? Whatever. I think I want to kill them. Mm. At least, ha. Huh. Do I want to kill my Novel Hierarch? I mean, they, if they have Titan mana, they will just have Titan, right? They played. Uh... What was the line they played? Rule Turf. They have a forest. So if they have Titan mana, they will just have Titan mana no matter what. So maybe they don't even want to do this. Hmm. If I if I kill both of these, so you can play two lions into play. Maybe I can do it. Yeah, I'll just just not do it. I don't think I need to do it. Like I can save it for later. Like they can do this at instant speed anyway. So I, I mean, and I think I don't want to kill my novel hierarch because then that means the next time if I draw a lion, I can get off messenger plus get myself a. Like, they have Titan mana, probably, anyway. So they can Titan us here. But Titan itself is not so impactful. They can, of course, look for Bojuka Vogue and put in their hand. Cool. Did they withdraw? <laughs> okay, they get the time premium of Titan. Get the forest down. Okay, I kind of like that they do this. That means they cannot really give me... Do they have also a Dryad? That's 8 mana only, though. Maybe I should kill it, I don't know. 
I was playing around them having like Bojuka Bog, Bounds Land, and then they can. Uh... So I guess in here. Hmm. So that is cool. That was uh, well played by them. I did not play. I, I was playing around more like the fact that they could. Um... Yeah. So I could make this smaller for all this worth. But I can also just try to win with the chore plus get off messenger or something like this. So they need to pay for a pack, that's important to remember. They have Polaria West in hand. Alright, we take eight here. Round to nine. So, hmm. we have four mana available and a short. So, I could play Get Out Messenger, one, two, three, play Colony Garden. Then I have one, two, three, four. Mm. I could sack this guy, get myself a Hapatra. No, it's not in the library, so sadly. To get myself a Hapatra and kill this. But then they have another Titan coming up. But it will not have... I will have haste, actually. I mean, this bombing match really hurt us here. So I can sack this for Hapatra. Play Hapatra. Like, kill their fight build, but then I'm, like, down to 8, 1 life. I should totally have killed this there when I could. Mm. And if I play these, I short. Play Get Out Messenger. So I play Get Out Messenger, then I play Galmi Garden. I have one, two, three, four. I could also short for Young Wolf. Right? So that would be four mana. Have Young Wolf. Mm, no, nah, that would be play Galmi Garden, short for Young Wolf. I have three mana available. Eldritch Evolution, the Young Wolf. Find myself a Hapatra. And then try to draw another. another um, try to draw another uh, Chore of Calling. You can also Eldritch Evolution for Hapatra directly and try to find another Chore of Calling. And just Chore of Calling for like a Blood Artist. Maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do that, just... Yeah, I know. So, maybe I can find a land by... I can Eldritch for... I can Eldritch for Hapatra. Draw a lot of cards, and then draw the... And then find a land, and tap land. Hapatra. Maybe that's just enough. This is not easy, boys. Yeah, but Hapatra will make dudes, right? So now if I play the Calmy Garden, and then I will have three, so I can find the no worries, no worries. It's it's fine. It's it's part of the cool things of streaming, right? Um, so I now sack this guy actually. I 
So now if we, if we find a, a chord, we, oh, we can just chord now, right? Now we're missing a, we're missing a, Oof. No, I think I'm short now. Yeah, so this is all of these green. Yeah. And then I play Blood Artist. Yeah, that's nice. So now we come here, sack. I think I would have sacked the plant, not the, the thing here. Yeah, this is the line, this is the line. Ah, another chord, nice. So... Whoa, that was cool, lad. It took me, I, I went down to the tank for this. Holy shit. But yeah, that was, that was the line. That was the line. Elbitch for Hapatra, Sack the Noble Hierarch, Chore for Blur Artist. Maybe some smarter people than me will have seen it earlier. Awesome. Yeah, basically now we just gain a ton of life, we kill all their dudes, and if they play a Titan, we also kill it right away. So at this point, they're just done. Unless they have like a board wipe or something. Wow, this was cool. These wall roots, I also will not be able to play this one unless I draw an untap source. Yeah, that was uh, that was some convoluted linings. I'm just gonna play the Calming Gardens. I'm playing two Calming Gardens, by the way, Neon Lights. I find this is really cool. Like, Calming Gardens is just so good in this deck. Like, it actually was because of Calming Gardens that we were able to win that. It gave us exactly what we needed. Basically, it's an untap land for Chirp Calling. funny you play double and you play none i mean that's a cool thing right like, this deck is pretty tight but then you have like all right so my opponent is on a mystery forest yeah i actually killed the uh, monistern three with the county garden also so dude oh i thought it was gonna get paired against another you can show for one here Maybe I'll do that and get myself a young wolf. That sounds kind of nice. But you know, yeah, the Wall of Roots is just what makes the deck. Both Wall of Roots and Kami Garden kind of ramp you. Like, of course, Wall of Roots more obviously, but Kami Garden is two bodies, right? So my one has Spell Queller. Like, huh. absolutely for sure. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just play a second Wall of Roots. Yeah, I could short for a bird and I could short, but then they could actually just... Um, I don't need to play anything here. They could play... Uh, the name of that. I basically want to play a short of Calling that doesn't get spell colored. Or then they just stop out. Yeah, also, but then I need, I need to sack all my dudes to kill it, so I don't know. I also think they will maybe just play a Toski here, <laughs> and then we will just gonna... Oh, this is a Spying Spike deck, okay. Mm. So I just need to put one counter. It's gonna be the Yagmos down here. So we may have like Mana Leak or something here, but then we just jam our, our Yagmos, right? <sighs> that probably was better, yeah. You're probably right. Just playing it there. Okay, they have Mana Leak. That's probably what they had anyway. Nice. 
Um, Yeah, I could win if I find another. Uh, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, well, it's okay. Um, definitely gonna start by. I have enough mana to just short for whatever I want, so I just short by killing this. Okay. Is this lethal enough? Um, good job for like a house messenger. And uh, then it will be two damage, sack it, one damage. Put a gun. Too much math, man. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna pass and I don't think they play Raz in their deck, so I think I don't think we can actually lose. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm this deck is actually this deck, one of the things I realized is this deck draws really well. They can have a skyclave here or the fairy. Mm. That was my third thing done. I may need to find some kind of equation. Uh, I think we just got the messenger here, right? And I will just draw like a card. Yeah, that's I'm gonna do that. So I get I even gonna just draw an extra card. Yeah, we just win. Now we have a Nice as playing a spike deck, bro. I just play Agmos and win here, so. Mm. I always try to use my old wall of roots like actively. Because then when I sacrifice them, I don't feel so bad. I mean, this is just easy. I'm not going to show them my spells guide. Yeah. I mean, now at this point, any creature I sacrifice is just lethal. Dude, domination, eh? Domination. This guy is playing squirrels. So you actually can name also an all higher. So this card is pretty good. Um I'm not sure Bale Bale of Summer. They do play a lot of like uh squidment. So I don't think Ford is good, but maybe Rex Rec Sage is good. They play Stoneforge Mystic, so I like this card. That's it. I don't want to over sideboard necessarily. Guess we can cut. Huh, I don't know. Medicine's Warren is good. I guess Pelscar is decent. I guess we need to block a little bit this match. So I'll cut this. They play Force of Negation. So I'll cut one Eldridge at least. And. Let me see how this looks like. May I cut a two drop? Yeah, I'll cut one of these. You just, just, but it would have been better to do what you said, to just short for one. If they quailer it, we play Yakmas. Just basically do the same thing, but one turn earlier. And if they mana leak it, we just play Yakmas. Because 
even even if they like if we but I'm pretty sure they actually had a queller in hand. I just I just think they chose the mana league because they couldn't queller. Sure is very good against spell color decks. Hmm. Like this hand, this can name Stoneforge Mystic. Oh, Dublin. I'm right into it. I go Young Wolf. So you played Stormforge. I may just play the Phyrexian Revoker. Oh, nothing? Sure. They, what could they have? Nothing. They could have Ice and Coral, but dude, I'm gonna 100% just trade my Young Wolf for your Ice and Coral, bro. No. I'm guessing they have a counter. If they want to counter my Wall of Roots on the play, dude, that's just fine, you know? Yeah, I don't think it was needed to suck it all. Yeah, okay. So that's their play. Like, that's their turn to play when they're on the play. Dude, I'm fine. So if I draw a land, they get to play Call of Roots and Sangaluru, guys. Oh boy, they miss a land drop. I don't know. They play Ice Fang. Trying to look for lands. Will they hit? Nope. So we can actually. Um... So I'll do this forest, I will do like this. I kind of like it. I mean, if they want to trade, they trade. That's fine. I mean, probably they have a. They got the guy back. So they probably do have the. Order negation here. I think it was not good to start with Sangaru, guys. Now, of course, our our um, our what's the name of that? I like the comment. I'm too stupid for this deck. No, you know, I just need to play it. The first time I played it, I was like timing out every single time. Shit, what the fuck? I guess they have uh, on thin ice. Take my wall roots. Sure. Oh, <laughs> nice. So we can just reset the wall of roots. That's awesome. I don't know if I will do that though. I think I'm gonna attack first. They could uh, have an Argus and Coral, but if they're gonna trade the Argus and Coral from a young wolf, it's okay with that. Uh, they probably have a Mana Leak or something here. So you could just play a Rex Sage to kind of try to. You could just play Phyrexian Revoker name. You have the Fairy Time Raveler. Or, uh, dude, but actually playing the Rex, it just seems good. Huh, I don't know. Fiction Revoker naming Stoneforge Mystic, or but yeah, the Fair Time Raveler. Yeah, I think I'm gonna name the. Rev I mean, they're probably just gonna counter this, but I think it's more impactful the Rex Edge eating this. Opponent's also the 11, right? So. Also, the Time Raveler turns off our short of calling, or at least. You now, we're hitting them for a lot next turn. They, could have, they didn't have an Ice Fang this turn. Oh, they do have an Ice Fang. Wow, they didn't. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Mm. Of course, we can uh, chore for a yak, like uh, at least for a yak, but. 
not so much in the business of that. Let's immediately play a Toski here. Man, if they play a Toski and our and we can get a Yakmas down. It's gonna be a bit yikes for my opponent. I think we can back six next turn. If they play a Toski and we land a Yakmas, my opponent is very sad. Like, it's so sad, my opponent. The problem is if they have an Eldritch Evolution. I may actually... I actually probably will just sack this. Let's see. So my opponent taps... I mean, if they're thinking about it, it's maybe because they don't have the Yagma. Like, the Force of Negation, right? It really sucks that we have to have to play around... Uh, I guess they just have Toski, right? What, what else could they have here that would make sense to play? Ashok. Oh, okay. That's strong. I have a Blood Decay in my deck. I can just go all in on it. I think my Blood Decay is really good because we kill these and we kill these at the same time. Too bad we don't have a land. Hmm, we've had Rexage here, right? I think honestly. So what's the worst thing gonna happen? This doesn't have like uh the they will block here, this will go down to one. So may I attack with these two, hold this up. They if they block here, they lose the uh they get yeah, I think that's the play. So Rexage will will resolve for sure. So I'll attack with these two guys. Sadly we don't if I had played Rexage last time we could have Yakmas right now and then we'd just be awesome. But let's see. This doesn't have Lightning. I mean Lightning Death Touch yet. So they can only block here. I don't want to give them a good block in this. So I want them to like trade effectively, let's say. So now, of course, if they don't block, this goes down to one. If they do block, it goes down to two. And then playing the Rex Sage and the Yagmos next turn will probably just win us the game. Especially if they play the Toski, I think they have. I think they have a Toski. Just playing creatures is a good magic strategy. You know, just, just play creatures. They got your opponent. The opponent has to do something about it. They do nothing about it, interestingly. So there you go, the Yasha goes down to one, and then we will go like green, this, this. I play my Rex Sage on your own thing nice. They could have a sword of a feast and famine. I guess that would be very strong. Yes, I'd like to destroy that, get my land, my dude back. No mana to do anything with it, though. <sighs> Toski? Draw a card from the Waterlog Groove. Waterlog Groove. Yeah, if they play Toski, we just win. Oh, it's a Stoneforge. Mystic. So we could have mana leak here, um, that'd be kind of annoying. I think if I attack with all these three, I kill this, right? Third out of the evolution. So if I attack with this, this, and this over here, they can block one, they can this block is here, this blocks here, and then this that this kills it. And then if they don't uh Then I can Eldritch instead, and then Yakmos next turn. I 
I could of course play Yagmas first. Maybe take this trade. No, they need to trade here. Hmm. So I don't have a boot. Yeah, I think I just sack the Rex Sage and try to get myself a. Yagmas here. Maybe they have the force and that gets punishing. But I do think they have the mana leak, so. Yeah. As expected. So we will. You know, this is gonna be tough now. They got the sword now down. And we don't have a Rexage anymore. We have a Blood Decay though, so we can draw into that. We can also just, you know, go infinite. Well, I get a good plan. But of course my Yagmoth needs to resolve here. But also will be like tapped, you know, they will take quite a lot of damage. So we'll discard kind of all the evolution. Take three. But only they don't get to untap the lions, so that's the main issue. So we attack them for five, seven. Depending what they do. I would love they could have cryptic command and that'll be really rough. But at the same time, we're just attacking them. It's it's I think we will go to combat first. If they tap me for cryptic command, then I can maybe win. Maybe I should bring in the veils. I don't know. It seems that then my opponent is depending a lot on counter magic to stop me. Like two mana leagues already. Oh, well, they play like three, they play cryptic. Toski. Those kitties. Um, We draw a short, we win. Maybe we just stack here. Put a counter here, stack here. And then we can, if we draw a short, we win. I actually don't know what I'm doing, so I'm gonna just put a counter here, stack here. Put a counter here, stack here. Okay, now we actually do. No. You're missing one mana right now. We cannot do it anymore. <sighs> okay, let's put them at three. So if I do this on their app keep, nah. So what can I do here? I can sack, have this up untapped, and then we have one, then have like one. No, that's just bad, right? Okay, I guess I'll do it on their app keep. I 
It also had three, so graph message is probably lethal. Maybe I have to fade down Raveler though. Mm. That'd be a beating. But yeah, I don't know actually. Maybe I should just side all roots. Yeah. Actually, we can. No, we cannot short right now. But... Oh, they have the Raveler. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I got it. It's like here. Why would they dub these? Mm. Oh no, this doesn't have for green. Oh, it does. Yeah, I can feel the revolve. Shit. Bonin, I got you. Okay, this comes back. Air counter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't have that, okay. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Um, wow, what a way to win the game. Plays around fours. Are you not impressed, boys? One ring is impressed. This right now it doesn't matter. Wow, well, that was pretty cool. That was hot. That was one of the hottest things I like. I mean, I got the Titan one before, it was pretty hot too. Words War Artist, but hey, here it is, giving us the... You know, the thing is, even if they do something in response, I can sack both my Young Wolf and my Blood Artist and kill them, right? So they're just dead on the stack now. My brother's really wondering where, where did they go wrong? Yeah. So further plan was just to the fairy, bounce this boy. But I mean, just drawing the abrupt decay was already really good just to kill this. And uh yeah, so we had a really good luck, good draws there. But this was cool, right? Like we we waited for their turn, we made the green, we filter it, we reset our dudes, then we shorted exactly for the blood artists that killed them in this spot. And that all came back from the attacks that we did previously. Still kind of rough. Um Jacobo Amber or Jacobo or something. I don't know. Uh... All right, I'll give this hand. If I draw um, any on top line, I think I'm just going to shock the birds in, though. Allows me to play the Blood Artist. 
and play a colony garden, use my mana, you know, short afterwards. Do all those things that tell me to do in order to win games. Double colony garden. It's the first time I draw those, so let's see. Let's see. So we can actually just jam or get off messenger here, and I think that's just great. If we draw an eligible, uh, if we draw, no, we can't. This is like the most aggressive line. I really like it. Next time we can play the Boatis. For the Colony Garden, we can do all sorts of stuff. Mm. Is this meal? Who knows? All right, that's kind of a good draw too. Okay, take three. This is so good, turn two, man. I'm gonna do it again. Most likely they counter this, but no. Okay. So again, next turn we can short for Yagmas and win. Okay. One, two, three. So next turn. One, two, three, four. So we can attack with one get off messenger. And, okay. It's my opponent on. What is my opponent on? See blue and black. Tap out, bro. Maybe they play force of negation, though. Even if they play damnation, this is going to be tough for them to beat. Oh, boy. Should I just go in here? That with eight? Look, I actually could play Colony Garden and then have one, two. I will have like three, four, five, six. So I, I can attack with one get off messenger. I'll play the Colony Garden first. I think I can save this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The economy gun is so good in this deck. I thought we won. Oh my god, my mistake. I can short on the end of the turn or just play a strangler, guys. I find this is cool. It could be not playing. Oh, they're playing. They're playing Lurus. I just see how that's now. Nice. Um. Yeah, no reason to give them like anything to do with their mana, right? Just pass. Oh, we kind of telegraph our our. Um... All right, then I'm. Nice. I like that you realize you did that. Like even before I do it. So this is some kind of a blue, black, Lurus control, I guess. So definitely Veil of Summer is good. Um, they probably made Misha's Bowels. They must be playing, maybe they play Rogues. That great, but I would think they play Engineer if they do play with the Rogues. I'm guessing Scavenging Hood is also kind of decent. Same with Abrupt Decay, right? I don't think they have Cap Decay's Cage, but maybe play... Um... Also, I think I've been... Hello, Mag uh, Magdirt. Hello, Ma Leon Lights. Thanks for following my shit. It's entry, entry and one. The reason is, is, is... Great artists make great art, man. Like the art of the Blur artist. Oh, well, man, I know you are. So, I think we can cut a wall of roots here. I can definitely see myself cutting the uh, Gilda Goose. Um, I think I want being aggressive is good. Zula Port doesn't target, I know. But Blood Artist triggers on your opponent's creatures. Which is really sweet, in my opinion. Probably Hapata is not the dream in this matchup, right? Um, cut an Eldritch. Oh yeah, since Warren is not gonna be that impactful either. Yeah, yeah. I, I just play Blood Artist because I like it, but I also own the Zula Port Cutthroat. If like if you go to your Alright, that's not a bad hand. If you go to your like local gaming store and people are playing Leylands of Sanctity, you wanna play Zula Port. 
Oh, he was, yeah. Oh, shit, he was. He was Mill at the end, dang. All right, well, we have a, we have a, I could have brought in the votes to do, but I didn't. I didn't realize it was Mule, guys. What can I say? I thought it was not Mule. All right, Double Crab is wrong. I think we lose here. Who knows? Who knows, guys? They attack here. I got attack. See what they do. See if they are. Don't take it. Smart mate. Smart. Uh, too bad we don't have like a. Actually, can kind of win soonish. Damn it! They were playing Neo and they didn't show us. I thought they were being playing like blue rec, like blue black control or something. Maybe they play the Miss Medicor, that would be kind of hot because we have the Rex Age, and then we die. Rex Age or Orb. Then Eldritch. What's an Orb? No Lance? Yeah. No artists yet here, which is cool. Okay, we have four mana now. We can play Yagmos and just obliterate those dudes. Ah, really? Is? Oh, okay. Okay, let's let's look. I think I have both. May have sold it. I could not see. Ah, uh, I can see. So you're like laying there. Okay, actually, okay. I mean, this is a good argument. Not gonna lie. <laughs> This is not. A, this is a good argument. So I could play Rex Age and Young Wolf, and play Yakmos next turn. Kill this thing. I could also just attack with the Strangler Rugeist. I'm gonna attack for Strangler Rugeist first. If they block again, then I can... I think if they block again, I'm gonna play Yagmas and kill it. Yeah. Killing a crap seems pretty important, I believe. And then we can just win next turn, right? Oh. Nice. Nice stuff, man. So that's what you do, you know? You, you, you bait them first, and then you... That saved me basically uh, a lot of sacks. Um, need to find a land though to be able to win. So I have less. I need to find a block too. So, huh? Do I even suck here? That, that allows me to just win next turn by playing Young Wolf. Yeah. No, I think I just go, man, and just pass. I get four meals from here. I have 40 cards in my graveyard. I mean, I don't have a... May don't have blood, so they have damnation. It's a field of ruin. Maybe field of ruin me here, and then try to... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Okay. I haven't done a line yet, so yes. But that with both of these guys, I believe. No box, two, five. They're playing Damnation. Scary. Um, I have combo. I have counter spell. Okay, you lost. You gain a lot of life, but that's just not enough for the fury. Oh, they killed him in my go. Oh, it's true. 
So I guess we get the get off messenger here. Tank. So this is not lethal right now. Very no, I'm gonna be good. Okay. So we're gonna get milled for a lot. We have twenty eight cards still. Um, so they drew lands now again. Oh, they may have damnation here. Ooh. They have damnation. Okay. Yeah, I need to just kill this man. It's gonna kill me. I'm kind of low on life. I don't know if I have any fetchables. No third damnation, please. Two cards in my opponent's hand. Lures in hand. One card left in hand. No archive trap, please. Ooh. Oh, Veil of Summer is huge here. Um. Do I have a fetchable? So. <gasps> yeah, it sucks. So I can put Yagmos here. But then I cannot. I actually don't have a lot of this anymore. Okay. Mm. It's still winnable, it's still winnable, that's for sure. Too bad I drew my fast lines worst worst timer. I mean I can win next turn basically. Actually No, I need more life than my opponent, right? So So my opponent needs like a good top deck here. Oh boy! I can suck my dudes, right? Oh, then I draw cards. One, two, three, four. Oh! I get exactly meal for eight and I have nine cards. Wow! I'm not fetching. No, yeah, actually, I get, I get meal for one less now, so okay, that's fine. Ooh, that we won. Nice! I even had a cozy like in this in the sideboard like that the hands. <laughs> Alright, two foreign ones today with one with hammer, one with Yagmas. Pretty cool. Two zero meal without cozy leg. Hot. Pretty hot. I can I kinda like the art of this, you're right. This is pretty cool, but Great art can never be created without great suffering. 
Ah, oh, man, the choices one makes. But I think I really like this. I really like this style. That was a Pog Champ. Okay, we have 10 chests, guys. So we can celebrate by opening them. Are you ready? Am I? Pog? No. All right, so that's a lot of play points. Resale brand. Is it expensive anymore still? All right, like one and a half ticks. Not amazing. Army, Broken War. This is probably very bad. A Gianni Mentor of Heroes. Armand Reclaimer. Oh, Draxos. Probably make a scene of Lapis is not very expensive. Oh, it's extremely cheap. <laughs> Marius Angel. Okay, nothing really impressive here. But we got some play points. I can play Gorius. I can play Garden. Nice. Yeah, nothing really important. Whatever. Just need to remember to sell all of this crap. Trample. Taxes is cool. Alright, so that was the deck. We went from one. We unlocked the Titan Shift. We we're on the draw. It was a bit weird game. Um, we're playing against Mil and we didn't even need to bring back the Kozilek, but I think it's important, right? We were like one turn away from dying and we had a very good hand. Uh, we're not playing against Heliod, but I'm guessing Black Beetles are still very good against Heliod. Same Collector is probably not good against Heliod, but it's good against Zetron, it's good against Tron. I'm sure those matchups are not amazing, but maybe this Collector should just be a Thoughtseize. You know what I mean? Then Vixxer Revoker, pretty good. I think this card is, you know, you don't want to leave your house without it, kind of. I didn't really miss, like, I didn't play against the Nidek, the Fatal Push would have been good. But I did play against Titan, and Dampix Fury brought it in. Yeah, they were very close games, but cool. Some, a lot, some cool lines I think I took here. Scanning Wounds is good in the mid-range decks, matchups, as an alternative to Yakmos to win the game. It has done a lot of work back in the past. Also against the mirror, of course, good against uh, graveyard decks. I don't have a lot of graveyard hate. But since so much Titan, since Titan won the showcase, I think Ashok is good. Just having like one of Ashok and playing it turn two randomly versus an opponent that plays Summoner's Pack is just so good. Rex Edge is a must. Plague Engineer, pretty decent card. Um, don't really bring it a lot, but I feel like it's it's also very good against Helio because you can name a uh, human and kill the other champions, right? Which are otherwise a bit annoying. And this card, I have it for the burn matchup and also for the mid range matchups. I, I really don't know. Maybe there are better configurations. Maybe we should hedge a bit more against like the aggressive decks by playing Call of the Night. Yeah, Vidal is, is just amazing versus Heliod. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, you can just put whatever you want, really. <laughs> I really like the Hapatra. Hapatra is amazing. You should play it. I didn't really get to use the spell sky match. I'm just trying this I, because I saw that uh, there was an Aptic on Tron decks and there's also an Aptic in Neutron decks because Neutron won the PDQ on Friday, I believe. And so I believe that this card could be it's pretty good against Neutron and it's pretty good against Tron. So I thought, okay, let's play it. It's kind of the. It also is good against random stuff like hard skills you play around that or something or Hammer Time, which is also a pretty good deck. So I just felt like uh, I wanted to try. It didn't really come up, but to be fair, this deck is so tight that most of the time you just win because you have like a four mana win the game card, you know. And then sometimes these cards are nice. Probably the best one is Rex Age of the sideboard cards. But I think I could see myself playing a second thought is Maybe I could just cut the either the Ballot or the Roof or the Scanging Ooze also. The Scanging Ooze also hasn't been that impressive. But of course, then you play against Dredge and you wish you had the Scanging Ooze because you get so, they make so much mana that you can need like all the Dredgers with Ooze. And all the removal is damage based, so you get this big IV you can obviously just win. But I do like the idea of having Ashok right now. And Bale is just great. Bale, you shouldn't leave your house with less than two Bales, I believe. I like the Cozy Leg. I like that it's a, the idea of having a discardable um, anti-mil tech 
and also a pretty good against control, pretty good against, uh, and it can be an out to infinite life, especially in paper magic. If you're playing in paper magic, this is a pretty decent out to. I feel like what happens a lot in the healer matchup is that they will go all in on the game infinite life, then you kill their spike feeder, right? And at some point, if you have Yagmoth and Toon Dying creatures, they cannot play anything. Like, any creature that they play just dies immediately. Especially if you have, like, a Blood Artist or, or an Essence Garden or something. And then at that point, you just dig for the Cozy Leg. You play the Cozy Leg, clean up the board, and then you say, well, now you have no, no cards. I will sack my Cozy Leg, re, you know, rebuild my library. And then at that point, the opponent just realizes they cannot win. So that's the... I think in paper it works. I think in paper, with Bowman, the moment your opponent has no no permanence in play, you can wait until like turn 50 when it has like two or cards left. And then you sacrifice Cozy Leg and you say, now you will lose the game. I think that actually works. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. This is the stream for today. I played Hammer before and it was awesome. And I played now this and it's also pretty awesome. Both of the decks felt really great. Felt powerful, you know. Felt like I didn't have to fight, play... You know, I, ha I didn't have to do too many more things than my opponent to win the game. Which is sometimes the problem with harm skills. It just feels like you need to so play so next level to just get like some wins that are like, okay, just play a f uh, to, uh, four mana win the game and just win the game, right? But really cool. I like all the one-offs. I like the Sense Warden, the Gilded Goose, and Nova Hired. Different abilities, but it all comes, comes up. You, the fact that you can short for a blocker that flies and gains your life was huge. The foods kept us alive as the escape shift. Yeah, since Warden also is really nice to be able to chort for when you when you're against an aggressive deck or if your blood artist dies is an, an out. And also Essence Warden and Hapatra means that you can make infinite uh serpents basically. Uh yeah, only one that's a bit weird is a spell sky, but I think it's really good at endure prowess, boggles, random a lot of random uses. Also against Balakut is very good. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.